We physicists have waited a hundred years since 1916 for this photograph. Black holes are mysterious treasures in the great cosmic tapestry cloaked in mystery and majesty. These cosmic giants, formed by the gravitational collapse of enormous stars, have an unstoppable force that consumes light itself. And a black hole weighing perhaps two to four million times the mass of the sun. Astronomer has provided the first tangible proof of a black hole spinning, proving Einstein's theory of relativity once more. Many intriguing issues arise from discovering black holes, including what causes their fast spin and, more crucially, what is within a black hole. In today's video, we will explore the depths of space where time and reality dance on the edge of the unknown. Join us as we go further into black holes and see what lies within enormous, terrible gaps. Let's define black holes before we go into the specifics of what Michio Kaku discovered. Let's discuss what black holes are. Black holes. A black hole is a cosmic body with extraordinarily high gravity from which nothing, even light, can escape. The demise of a big star can result in the formation of a black hole. When a star's internal thermonuclear fuels at its core are depleted near the end of its life, the core becomes unstable and gravitationally collapses inward into itself, destroying the star's outer layers. The crushing weight of component matter falling in from all sides compresses the dying star to the singularity, a point of zero volume and infinite density. The unusual properties of the black hole solutions were formerly thought to be pathological artifacts of the imposed symmetry requirements and that the singularities would not exist in general settings. This was particularly maintained by Vladimir Belinsky, Isaac Kalatnikov, and Evgeny Lifshitz, who attempted to demonstrate that no singularities exist in generic solutions. Cygnus X-1, a galactic X-ray source found in 1964, became the first astronomical object widely recognized to be a black hole based on observations in Greenwich and Toronto in the early 1970s. It is located in the constellation Cygnus, about 6,000 light years from Earth. It was no small discovery because it is about 14 times brighter than the sun and extremely dense, causing it to have a strong gravitational pull. The gravitational pull is so strong that not even light can escape it, which is why it is called a black hole. Ever wondered how scientists unveil the mysteries of black holes? When stuff plunges into a black hole, it zooms in at mind-boggling speeds, heating up and shining like a cosmic firework. That's how the Event Horizon Telescope snagged those breathtaking snapshots of black holes that left the world in awe. Now, these brilliant minds aim to leverage this technique to delve deeper into the cosmic menu of black holes. What they devour and how. But that's not the only trick up their sleeves. Imagine detecting black holes not by directly seeing them, but by observing their gravitational tugs on surrounding objects. Think of it as interstellar detectives watching stars dance an unusual tango around seemingly empty space. By decoding this celestial choreography, scientists like Nobel laureate Andrea Ghez pinpointed the colossal black hole at the heart of our galaxy. And there's more. Black holes reveal themselves in a gravitational symphony when they collide. It's like catching cosmic waves, reading the ripples in space-time when two black holes smash into each other. From this celestial collision report, scientists can deduce the black hole's weight, distance, and the intergalactic speed at which they rendezvoused. The researchers wanted to learn more about the black hole, so they got new information, which they had to put together. They are merging disparate images to make something that fills in all the gaps. How they discovered it. There are three different levels in a black hole. Layers of the black hole. 
the outer and inner event horizons, as well as the singularity, are the three layers of a black hole. The first layer is event horizon, which signifies the ultimate threshold for any object. It can enter but cannot exit a black hole. Within this boundary, the escape velocity surpasses the speed of light, achievable only by natural particles. Once crossed, information about the object is lost to external observers, and predictions about its fate are constrained. The gravitational influence near the event horizon bends the path of particles towards the mass, eliminating any trajectory leading away from the black hole. Gravitational time dilation near a black hole results in a slower apparent movement of clocks to external observers. An object approaching the event horizon appears to slow down progressively, seemingly taking an infinite time to reach it. The size of the event horizon depends on the black hole's mass. For example, compressing an Earth-like mass into a black hole results in a diameter of about 0.69 inches. 17.4 millimeters. The second layer is the photon sphere, found far from the black hole's center and event horizon, is a region where gravity compels photons into orbits. Mathematically, it exists at a distance of 3 2 Rs Schwarzschild radius. For non-rotating black holes, there is one photon sphere, while rotating ones exhibit two. Remarkably, the closer photon sphere moves in the same direction as the black hole's rotation, while the farther one moves against it. Moving to the singularity, located at the black hole's center, it is a one-dimensional point with infinite density and gravity, causing a breakdown of known physical laws. In continuously rotating black holes, the singularity forms a ring-like structure, while in non-rotating ones, it remains a single point. Types of black holes. We explore the mysterious realm of black holes, celestial enigmas that come in three distinct flavors. First on the cosmic stage are the stellar black holes, small yet harboring an intense gravitational pull. Born from the dramatic collapse of massive stars, these compact wonders cram over three times the sun's mass into a space no larger than a city. Like cosmic vacuum cleaners, they voraciously consume surrounding dust and gas, steadily expanding their celestial waistlines. Next, meet the giants of the cosmic saga, the supermassive black holes. With masses reaching millions or even billions of times that of the sun, these behemoths lurk at the heart of galaxies including our own Milky Way. Their origin remains a cosmic puzzle, but theories range from merging tiny black holes to the collapse of massive gas clouds, or even the enigmatic dance of dark matter. Whatever the genesis, these colossal entities continue to grow, feasting on the cosmic banquet that surrounds them. Breaking away from the binary narrative of small and large, enter the intermediate black holes. Once considered elusive, these mid-sized marvels have now been glimpsed in the cosmic tapestry. In the depths of dwarf galaxies, another cosmic revelation awaits. Recent research unveils the possibility of intermediate black holes nestled within these small cosmic realms. Detected through X-ray activity, these black holes, ranging from 36,000 to 316,000 times the sun's mass, Add a new chapter to the cosmic narrative. Unraveling the cosmic mysteries, astronomers continue their quest, shedding light on the shadowy realms of black holes, uncharted territories that beckon exploration and discovery. Theories. While scientific investigation is not directly applicable to the study of black holes, researchers are constantly investigating numerous ideas and explanations for these cosmic occurrences. One especially interesting idea proposes that black holes emerge as stars collide. When a star's fuel runs out, it loses the capacity to resist the relentless gravitational draw inward. 
As a result, the star collapses, getting smaller and denser, and perhaps culminating in a singularity if the star is sufficiently massive. NASA scientists concentrated on the center of the galaxy M87 to learn more about black holes. Observations showed a massive swirl of superhot hydrogen gas whirling at an astounding 1.2 million miles per hour. Despite the projected dramatic dispersal caused by the gas disk's high rotation, it stayed together. Scientists deduced the presence of a massive mass in the galaxy's core, weighing up to 2 to 3 billion suns, indicating the presence of a black hole. Roy Kerr, a mathematician, developed an alternate hypothesis incorporating spinning black holes in 1963. Kerr used Einstein's gravity equations to depict a spinning black hole that does not collapse into a point, but instead forms a ring of fire, or a narrow disk, termed the ergosphere. This spinning disk, which defies conventional physics, suggests the presence of an Einstein-Rosen bridge, also known as a wormhole, a hypothetical tunnel linking distant areas of the cosmos, or perhaps alternative worlds. Kerr wormhole. One of the most intriguing concepts in this area of study is the Kerr wormhole. A Kerr black hole, a variant of a black hole, exhibits mass and angular momentum without any electrical charge. The third potential property of a black hole. Essentially, it is an uncharged black hole, characterized by rotation around a central axis. Troll. Kerr black holes are likely the most prevalent in the cosmos, arising from massive stars that generally possess rotation but lack an overall charge before collapsing after their life cycles. Following the star's collapse, the black hole retains a significant portion of its spin due to the conservation of angular momentum. Distinct regions characterize a Kerr black hole, including the ring singularity, inner and outer event horizons, ergosphere, and static limit the boundary between the ergosphere and normal space. The ergosphere, an ellipsoidal region surrounding a Kerr black hole, experiences the lens thiring effect, or frame dragging, wherein the hole's rotation influences the space-time continuum. This phenomenon results in non-stationary frames of reference concerning the rest of the universe. The ergosphere is delimited externally by the static or stationary surface and internally by the outer event horizon. Objects transitioning from normal space to the ergosphere can still be expelled from the black hole by harnessing energy from its rotation. However, once an object crosses the event horizon, it succumbs to the black hole's gravitational pull and becomes irretrievable. Within a Kerr black hole, at each event horizon, the roles of space and time undergo reversal. The singularity, ring-shaped and repulsive, except along its equatorial plane, is a temporal entity that can be circumvented. Theoretically, escape from a black hole is conceivable, albeit through a different route than the entry path. Departing the black hole may lead to a region of negative space whose physical significance remains unclear or an entirely distinct universe. These topics are explained by depicting the inside structure of a Kerr black hole, the pathways of a traveler from the past in the universe, avoiding the singularity and emerging in another universe and another traveler crossing the singularity to enter a negative universe are represented by dark blue and light blue lines, respectively. The precision of measurements in our laboratories relies on the four familiar dimensions of space-time, length, width, depth, and time. Determining the existence of extra dimensions poses a challenge. One possibility suggests these dimensions are tightly curled, making them invisible. 
Analogous to a sheet of paper rolled into a cylinder, these extra dimensions, as per superstring theory, might be curled into tiny loops or spirals, influencing string behavior despite their invisibility. Another scenario proposes that during the Big Bang, the extra dimensions were visible but collapsed and curled up as the universe expanded, leaving us with the observable four dimensions. Superstring theory involves complex mathematics, introducing new mathematical realms. Despite this, solving the quantum black hole problem remains elusive. While progress has been made, including a breakthrough in two dimensions, the complete resolution is yet to be achieved. Edward Witten labeled superstring theory as 21st century physics that unintentionally entered the 20th century. Recent breakthroughs hint at a potential solution to the quantum black hole problem, although confined to two dimensions. Despite optimism among physicists, the challenge lies in defining the initial conditions, a hurdle not unique to string theory. This discovery pushes the boundaries of our understanding and asks you to join the cosmic adventure. Subscribe today for more mind-bending experiences and keep an eye out for the next chapter in our quest to solve the universe's riddles. Thanks for watching.